Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting topics. The first one has gotta be about John De La Rosa and the backlash she received after winning this uh, Tampa Pro. Now, I was one of those people who did not agree with this decision, you know, him winning. I definitely, most certainly did not see it that way. And I was very clear in my video, I thought it was a clear-cut robbery. I thought they gave it to John because he needs to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and that's it. But there are arguments to be made for why John uh, could have deserved this victory, and that is basically that he was a drier and he was simply better from the back. But I didn't think it was enough. I just didn't see how could have he beaten Mofura. However, he did beat him, and afterwards, I noticed, I mean, I'm sure you also noticed a lot of comments, a lot of comments saying that Mofura was robbed, that John was gifted this victory. And it got to the point where John was receiving uh, threats. Mofura's fans were threatening him and his family. Let me show you. That people have to DM me, that they want to kill me and my family, and crazy stuff I think that's sad um, and I think that we can do better and in order for our sport to grow we need to learn to do better and so coming from a place of love and respect maybe take my advice keep your opinions to yourself let the athletes enjoy their day and have a difference of opinion wow Okay, it's happening again. It happened last year to Derek Lansford, and it's happening now to John De La Rosa. And I don't understand this. I mean, I made a video in which I made it clear that I thought it was a robbery, but what has John to do with this? It's not like he bribed the judges or anything like that. If you need to blame anyone, if you really think it was a robbery, then blame the judges, blame the, 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 the system, like the, the federation and so on. Not the athlete, it's not John who has anything to do with this. He did his best, he showed up on the stage, he presented the best physique possible, and he ended up winning. I didn't feel like he deserved that, and you know, I guess it's okay to have an opinion, to say that you don't think it's deserved, but uh, to threaten somebody and their family, I'll never understand this. Anyways, after this happened, uh, he actually received some support, for example, Derek Lansford made a story, I'm not gonna play it for you, it's a little bit too long and too boring to be honest, but basically what he says is that he was there, it was in his hometown, and he agrees with the judges, he thinks that the decision was uh, right. But even more importantly, you have the story that Mofura himself made, in which he's congratulating John, and he's saying it was uh, well deserved. So, the fact that people are threatening John and criticizing him and saying all this stuff, it has nothing to do with Mofura himself. He never said he was robbed. He did his best as well and he ended up placing second. He was already qualified for the Mr. Olympia, so what else do you want, guys? I mean, he's gonna go to the Mr. Olympia stage. Yeah, he lost one show and it probably wasn't fair, but it's definitely not John to be blamed. And Mofura is basically showing here that he's uh, supporting John, that he has nothing to do with this. And maybe, hopefully, the fans of Mofura are gonna take it easy now, after seeing that Mofura himself is admitting that it was a deserved win. Look, I mean, we all know those are just empty threats made by keyboard warriors. And also, on one hand, it's kinda cool to see how passionate these fans are, but threatening somebody and their family, it's a little bit over the top, it's unnecessary. It's gotta be very, very unpleasant, but it is what it is, I guess. And like I already said, I do feel like Mufura was robbed. I mean, yeah, he did lose from the back, and uh, maybe like from the side it was uh, closer, but like from the front, I mean, there are four front shots. I feel like Mufura won all of them, pretty easily. And like in the side shots it was very close, and yeah, he lost the two back shots, and, you know, I guess it was pretty much the same story like the Mr. Olympia, you know. Shows are won from the back, I guess. I mean, it's not always the case. And in this case, I feel like it was a gifted win to John De La Rosa to go to the Mr. Olympia. But if there was an argument to be made, it would be that. Like, if you win two poses and those poses are from the back, you can still win, even if you're losing in most of the other poses. So, you guys tell me, what do you think? Uh, do you maybe think that John deserved it? And... What do you think about the backlash he's receiving? Alright, next up we got a physique update from Hari Chopin. And if this guy doesn't win the Mr. Olympia, 
Oh, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. If I was Derek, I would actually be scared to win the show. So, I mean, I know, I know how, how stupid it is and I wish it wasn't the case, but you know what's gonna happen if he loses again? Like, Derek is gonna be bombarded with, like, DMs and comments. It's gonna be crazy. But, you know, I guess Egyptian and Iranian fans are just that passionate, that crazy about these guys. So, yeah, they don't take a loss uh, very easily, very nicely. And we got this physique update from Hadi, and this was at 16 weeks out, so 7 weeks ago. This is not recent. When I saw this, I thought this was recent, and then I thought that the, the story that he made, in which he kind of called out Derek Lanster, I thought that video, that, that photo actually was old, from last year. But no, apparently, I guess that, that photo, that story, is recent, because if he looked like this at 16 weeks out then it's very it's very possible that he was that shredded uh, one week ago but i don't know and it was here he does look very very crazy very impressive like no matter how much you dislike Hadi's physique and me personally i'm not the biggest fan you know it's a little bit of a blocky physique i don't like the the, the shoulders stuffed with oil and like the smaller forearms and so on there are some things about his physique that i don't really love but uh, still you can't deny him you know even though he's a shorter bodybuilder he still looks freaking impressive freaking massive and yeah, that addition that he brought to the Arnold Classic stage was probably one of the most impressive physiques, like, of all time. You know, I would say, like, Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, Dorian Yates, Jay Cutler, and then I would probably say maybe Kai Green, and then maybe Hari Japan. You know, that edition, 2024 Arnold Classic. And uh, here, he is not in contest condition, but he looks very, very impressive. Like, look at the lats, how much they're popping out. And then the, his, his midsection control, the abs, the chest, the, the arms, like he is massive everywhere, very symmetrical as well, well shaped, I mean, yeah, I do think this guy is, no matter what you think, no matter who I like and so on, he is definitely, in my opinion, the favorite to win the show, if you don't consider the fact that Derek is the defending champion, I don't think it helped Hadi last year that he was the defending champion, so I don't think it's going to help Derek either, but there is the argument to be made about Derek being better ambassador for the sport, so, you know, I don't know how much of a role is that going to play, but I feel like Hadi can be that dominant on that stage that he's going to be undeniable. It's very, very possible that that's going to be the outcome, but we still have nine weeks to go, and to see how these guys are actually going to end up looking but this prep, this year for Hadi, seems to be like his best year ever. Arnold Classic was his absolute best of all time, but I believe 2024 Mr. Olympia could be even better than that. We'll see. It's gonna be very interesting. Alright, next up, we got a new physique update from Martin Fitzwater at 9 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And it's been a while since we saw an actual physique update from this guy. And he is one of those guys that can be a major upset at this year's Mr. Olympia. Now, he he never competed at the Mr. Olympia before. Like, this is the first year he's qualified. It's gonna be his Mr. Olympia debut. And we can't expect too much from him at his first Mr. Olympia. But it happens. Sometimes people surprise. Like, Nick Walker, for example, his first Mr. Olympia, he was fifth. And back in the day, like, Kevin Leveroni was second at his first Mr. Olympia. And I believe Dorian Yates is also second. Like, it happens sometimes. I mean, especially back in the day, lately, not as much. But I believe Martin Fitzwater can be one of the guys after the top three. Like, after Hardy, Samson, and Derek. I don't see him beating those guys. But, like, after those guys, uh, Martin can be in that mix in a second callout. You know, against uh, Andrew Jack, against Brandon Curry, against Hunter Labrada, Nick Walker as well. Like, he almost beat Nick Walker this year, you guys. I don't know if you guys forgot, but at the New York Pro, Martin Fitzwater lost to, to Nick Walker by one point only. So, this guy is definitely a dark horse in the Mr. Olympia. And right now, nine weeks out, he is looking very good. He's definitely looking great. Like, he has the fullness, he has the shape. You know, he has, like, that, as he likes to say, a mass with class. You know, he has a lot of muscle, a lot of roundness, a lot of hardness. And, like, pretty, pretty nice lines, you know, small waist as well. He can pull a vacuum, stuff like that, so that's very important these days. And, like, in my opinion, he has enough muscle and maturity as well to go against guys like Andre Labrada, like uh, Brandon Curry. I don't know about Andrew Jack, I don't see him beating Andrew Jack this year, but, 
you know, I can see him challenging uh, like those two guys. I don't know about Nick Walker either, but like I can see him somewhere around top seven, top eight. I think he's definitely there in the mix. And yeah, he's looking great. Nine weeks out. There is still nine more weeks to go to get in crazy condition. But his coach is Stefan Kinzel. So I'm pretty sure he's going to nail it for the Mr. Olympia and bring something crazy. Oh, and we also got this uh, Olympia battle 212. Sean Clarida and Keon Pearson training together and unfortunately not posing like the open guys. But we can see their physiques kind of like one next to another in the tank tops. And uh, yeah, I mean, I would say Sean Clarita looks crazy right now. Like, he looks like a mini Ronnie Coleman. Super blasting full everywhere. Like, everything is blasting, everything is tight, hard. Keon, in a t-shirt, in, in, in a tank top like this, he, he looks less impressive than Sean. But, you know, Keon is taller, he has a much prettier physique, so... I still have him as the favorite, but I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Like, uh, it's very possible that Sean Clarida can make a comeback. His second comeback, actually. He he won the Mr. Olympia once. He lost it. He won it again. He lost it again. And uh, it wouldn't be impossible to see him win it again, especially if Keon doesn't peak perfectly. But uh, I would still bet on Keon for sure. I think he has more ch bigger chances of winning that show. But yeah, right now, you know, Sean seems like he's in crazier condition he looks fuller rounder more impressive at least in a tank top training but maybe if these guys hit the poses maybe it would look different or maybe sean would look better now but he won't look that much better on the mr olympia stage because sean is i think he's ahead with conditioning ahead of uh, keon pearson i think he's just con he actually was very lean the entire off season so he's very lean and nine weeks out and keon he bulked up he have he definitely had an, an off season where he tried to put on muscle so he's coming down slowly but on that day on the stage We'll see, but yeah, it's going to be a great battle. In my opinion, I think Keon is going to win again, but I don't know. It's very possible that Sean wins again. Whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.